What follows is a brief construction montage. Well, this is for those that disbelieve that Little Possum is actually alive. Let's check it out. I'm going to give it a little bit of rock melon. Open the door. There we go. Okay. He's still there. Oh, look. That's the imprint so we can see. All the way. Okay. See? That's pretty alive to me. What are you doing, fella? Hey? Okay. Oh, he said you bought a big camera today. Mm. Yeah. Hey? What's up? You're hot. Bloody hot, all right. Hmm. Yes, some people think that you're dead. Yesterday. Open the cupboard and look who's asleep in here. A little possum. Hello. So I'm not dead at all. Oh. Oh, doesn't look dead to me. <laughs> oh, I'd like to sleep that there at the moment. Just then. Yeah. This is... Oh, well, there you go. I was going to add a scary noise, but now I don't have to. <laughs> Hang on. It's all right. Okay, relax. There's a ringtail possum. I think we've got visitors, have we? It's okay, we're going to shut the door in a second. Yeah, your mum's up there. Okay. So there you are, just chilling out in my cupboard. Yeah. You gave me a wink before, didn't you? Okay. This is not to be confused with the poor little dead one I filmed a month ago that I presented to Big Eyes. That was in this garage here. Same garage. But, yeah, obviously fell from up there somewhere. Flashback. Just found this poor little fella. Baby possum in there garage here. Sadly if there isn't enough food available the mothers can actually push the babies out of the nest. Come on fella. And that could have been what happened to the little possum I videoed recently. Ten seconds later. End of flashback. Good night poor little thing. Little people driving past disturbing you. So you see he ain't dead at all. And there's his mum up there. They don't move a lot in the daytime, or see if we can reach this tapper on the tail uh, with something. I can't quite reach. Yeah, right. A bit of stuff here. Just to say, like, they sleep all day. Just to tap on the tail. See? Live as well. So there you go. And they've had many generations of possums living in here. Did you know that? You've had a lot of relatives in here over the years. And they always used to get upset when I used to have two Corvettes in here, V8s, and were extremely loud. <laughs> Should we let you eat that in peace? Okay. And thanks for doing the noise. I was going to do a big scary thing to scare people. So there you have it. Living proof, literally. Bye bye, little possum. Thank you. Bye bye. A little longer than a few minutes later. And now he's awake. You're awake. And you're awake now. Hey, yeah. Off to go foraging soon. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Later that same evening. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Here comes the possum to eat. Probably the same one that was in the cupboard a few hours ago. 
Something to be aware of is that if you do find a baby possum, it's important not to handle him because the mother can actually disown it and abandon it because it has the smell of human on it. Sometimes if you're sitting outside, they come right up next to your head. There's a mother one as well. Now this is the little baby having more rock melon today. Do you remember me? Or are you a different one? No, I remember you. Bye. <laughs> I'll eat it up here if you don't mind. <laughs> here we go. Safety in the tree. There you go, everyone. As you can tell, he was well and truly alive. <laughs> Cheers. The next morning. Now, why did I have a feeling you'd be back here today? <laughs> you just don't want me to work in the garage, do you? Oh dear. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage.